Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. So, uh, in the spirit of, uh, of the, the times, I have, uh, named this wave of dwarfs that just showed up. Uh, all Star Wars names. Biggs, Darth, Fett, Jabba, they're all in there. Because we haven't had enough Star Wars, right? It's not, like, everywhere. Um, in the, between episodes, I went ahead and I, I, I set a few things to be done. I have a couple upstairs being built here. As soon as those get built, we're going to do a wall up here. We're going to do like a, like a double layer wall going all the way around. And then we're going to build another, another, not a wall, another a double layer of floor up here. And then, we'll, then we're going to put a wall, a second layer of wall and put arrow slits in it. That will be basically our fortification. Uh, sort of like a, a tower, and so our, our military, our, our archer dwarves can stand on the second story and, and shoot out the arrow slits and, and save the day. We have a stockpile of wood here while they are picking up some trees we set up. Uh, we also, I designated a bunch of flooring to be done as well. So ho to hopefully get this filled in. I, did, I ran out of things to build floors out of. That's why we set up a few more tree chopping jobs. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's, that's that. I think anything downstairs, I didn't do anything downstairs. Uh, we're still working on some beds, which will get everyone happy and have their own room. I think they're actually moving quite along nicely. If, if we have issues like we had last time where we start having crashes a lot, then we may have to uh, end this fort and move on to the next version. What is going on? What is happening? Oh, Bomber is attacking a chinchilla. Apparently the chinchilla is quite a beast but uh, yeah so I mean if if it runs smooth and we'll keep it up I, I I rarely get to the point where I have so many dwarves how many do I have right now I have 50 well 54 not that many I guess but uh, when you get near up, up upwards near a hundred it's quite exciting if you can make it that far without something coming along and, and ruining your day or adding fun to the game but um, we'll see how far we can make this. But uh, yeah, if we get crashes, then we may just have to uh, move on to a new one. Who gets the cobaltite coffin? Cog. Oh, the baby. Cog. The baby. <laughs> the baby. Wait, Cog. How did? Wait a minute. I'm confused. So Cog was. Wait a minute. How does it, how does that happen? Cog was the baby, right? Cog was Poet's baby. Poet McThirsty, who resides down here. How the heck did the baby get upstairs? Into a coffin. Is the baby in a coffin, or is the baby just out laying around somewhere? And we just sort of made a tomb for it, her. I'm confused. I'm not sure how that happened. I'm actually kind of worried about that. How did she make it upstairs? Hmm. I don't know. We are quite busy, though. We only have, uh, well, we have nine idlers, seven idlers. But we're busy carrying out... Oh, here's our hunter. Bomber carrying a... Whatever a sea is. Oh, a chinchilla. Have you gathered any plants that can go out here? No seeds available for this location. Why? Hmm. We need to uh, get some seeds going. We are collecting. I th think I said that to be collected. If I didn't, let's do it again. Whoa! <laughs> okay, gather some plants. They're going to be busy. If you were ever even uh, thought about being idle, then uh, change. Your, I, I suggest you change your mind now. All right, let's build some floors. I think we have a little bit of wood. Wait, why? Why? Mm. Why? What am I missing? Do I not have enough? This is built, right? Oh, maybe it's not built. It may not be built. It just looks built. Well, wrong button. Wrong button. No, oh, it's there. I don't know. Why can't I build my wall? My floor. My floor. Did I do wall? That's what I did, didn't it? Build. Floor. What am I missing? No access to building material. All non-economic items. Maybe I just because I don't have enough wood? We need stairs to go up. Where are stairs over here? 
I can do it on this side. Oh, we can do it over. Hmm, I don't know what that means. I don't know why I can do it over here, but not... Oh, yeah, I don't have enough stuff. I only have... Three things, apparently. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why. We'll let that go for a little bit and see what happens. Is this stockpile getting filled in? New. No, not at all. What happened? An animal has grown to become a stray water buffalo cow. Alright. I think I just want to sit back and just kind of let the game run. And uh, see where we can get to. Why aren't you growing anything? Why don't you grow me some plump helmets? We can always use more beer. Ideally we want... Uh, a variety of beers makes my dwarves happy. They get bored of the same beer over and over again. We were working on a soap works, weren't we? Soap maker. Make soap from tallow. Do I have all this? I think I do have all the stuff for it, actually. Where's of soap? Uh, we need more than that, though. Keep like 20 to 30 bars of soap. Well, there's a lot of dwarves here. Let's keep 30 to 40 bars of soap. Don't drop it. And then we will do a stockpile. So we just do a stockpile of soap right here? We could do just a little one right here. Just of soap? We'll have this. this can be the soap room. How about that? Now, where is soap? Soap, I'm going to assume, is going to be in bars and blocks. Actually, I don't know. Soap, there it is. Forbid. We want only... Um, permit. Whoops. How do I select just one? Forbid. Enter. Okay, so soap. That'll be a soap stockpile. How is our f our, our fat dude going? Uh, the kitchen needs to render fat, but we cannot do it at the moment. Because we need, we need to slaughter some animals. Mm. Let me make sure this stockpile is filled with everyone that needs to be in here. Anybody that uh, is not... Oh, wait, we have a llama? A nanny goat and a buffalo. Okay. And you need to be butchering some things. Can I give you... Um, extract from dead animal? I think I need to... I think I need to do that. Which then gets carried over to the kitchen. So I take the fat over to the kitchen. It gets turned into tallow. Which then can go to the soap maker. Somebody's making soap though. Who's over here? Uh, it's like Biggs is over here doing something. He's making it. Apparently he's working. Biggs, where you at? Big, 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 Biggs. Biggs, big, big, Biggs, Biggs. Biggs. I don't know. Why is Lucky just blinking? That's what I want to know. Biggs, make soap from Teller. There you go. Apparently I have some stuff. I might have picked some things up from the elves. That is possible. Soap, that sounds like an elven thing to do. Those dirty, dirty elves. Still, we are not idle, which is good. And we are moderately happy. A few of us are cranky, but, you know, we had some tough times earlier on. So that's okay. Floor is very slowly getting made. They're working on over here, though. Good. We'll have to move our animals up to here. Maybe we should go ahead and do that. Set the animal area in here, because that's going to get enclosed. Not that big of a deal if it's enclosed, actually. But I like it better with them. I like the idea of them being over here better. So let's do... Should we just do the whole area? They can have half of it. That's as big as my zone can be. Uh, There's going to be a pen pasture. And we want all of the things that need to graze will be over here. 
Okay. Everybody can go there. The, there's some that are downstairs that won't be going there. Of course, because they can't make it. And this stockpile is going to be removed. Not stockpile, it's a zone. Okay. So all the animals will eventually be carried out there. So they might make their way there. I think they need to be carried, though. There's somebody's getting... He's, this llama's getting pulled. Getting pulled by Oin. Is that a llama? Yeah, it is a baby llama. Very good. I'm not sure why this stockpile is not working. It wants everything. Why aren't you working? I don't know. I don't I don't know what the problem is. I don't get why they're not carrying there are supplies in here that can get moved into there. We're too busy doing other things. It's possible. This was our gem stockpile, which there should be a few gems. How is our... Oh, yeah, this. How many times have I designated this? Um, you probably only see me designate it once, but I've done it more than once. <laughs> there we go. All right. And we'll get some of these. We're going to stick with... Uh, I'm going to stick with this for a little longer. If if we can go crash-free for, you know, this episode. If we go crash-free, we'll stick with it for a little bit longer. I think I said that. I don't remember if I said that or not. Um, but if we start having crashes, then, then we will move on to a new base. New fort. With a new version. Which I've been toying around with a little bit. And uh, the the um, the tavern is really cool. I've talked about that. I've not really tried the inn. Where lizard is fighting what? Fighting oh the ram. We're tearing that ram up. Get the ram. It was a jerk anyways. There we go. We got some animals up here, and they have plenty of food to be eating. FPS is at forty. What? Why is it so terrible? Because we have 800 duck babies running around. Donkey is fighting. What would you kill? Oh, you killed the donkey. How many more animals are down here? There can't be that many more. Well, once they clear out our... The, my animals, then they can move on to other things. But is there anything else down here? There's a troll down here, apparently. And a troglodyte who's caged. I don't know where the troll is. He's in here somewhere. There's still a little sheep running around. Lots of bugs, though. Lots of flies and whatever else. I don't think they'll attack those, though. No. I said no. What if we can do our wall now? Uh, floor. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why. Why not? I don't get why. Oh, why can you only use apricot wood logs for this? There's like a billion logs right here. Why can't you use those logs? I don't understand. Oh, well. Do whatever you want to do, dwarves. I won't say anything. It's been a rather um, peaceful few episodes, though. Which is good. Allow us to get back on track. These need to be bedrooms. Are you a bedroom? You are not. Oh, these are. There we go. You start cobalt tight. more gems in here. And this is the B. Is this the beginnings of our cavern? Yeah. Is it even connected, though? Oh, yeah, it is. So there's three layers of caverns. And this was the first layer. 
Um, the further down you go, the more heinous things you come across. I'll save the game just in case. I'm tempted to use old Poet and Billy and just start digging down and see what we can find down there. The only, um... Really? You know what? What if I find something bad? Who cares? They won't do anything. They'll chew up Billy and, and Poet, but... I mean... You don't want to go out living like that. You gotta go out with a dwarven bang. Like finding some sort of elementals or something. So let's do it. So we'll just start... Isn't Nate? We want to up, down, start. Let's just do it uh, right in the middle here. Yeah. Why not? Go to one. We'll go to two hundred. Level or level one hundred? There you go. Dig. Uh, we need to set a hotkey for this. I will never find it again. F6. I will not remember that button. Alright. And we're back up to 90 FPS. 85, 83 is dropping. Stupid chickens. It drops a lot outside. Nope. It just stays at around 50. Which is a bit of a shame. What do we got? Ram has been missing for a week. Is that what this music is? I think it is. Uh, stock level is low soap bars. We Are we making them? It might be going in here. You know, we don't have a barracks or an armory. Why don't we have that? Why don't we have that? Let's put one out here. A uh, chest is a container, which is H... Let's just plop it down here, and we'll make an armory. We can put an armor stand here as well, which we will make. Two armor stands, and we need a weapons stand, which is weapon rack is R. There we go. And why don't we kind of wall it in a bit? go and uh, do another wall like that there we go and we'll put a floor on top we can roof it in and we can make that our, our armory our barracks and armory maybe both I do want to show one thing here. Let's let's do this real quick. I'm gonna pull up. There's a uh, one of the things that comes with not this one. one of the that comes with the late, the starter pack here. Is I understand. Go away. Um, Armok Vision, which gives you kind of a, a 3D isometric view of the base, which is really cool looking. And I want to look at it. It may run pretty choppy because, well, I don't have the best computer. But we'll see. Takes a minute just to load. All right, there we go. OBS does not like this program. Um, so you can kind of see, this is our entrance here. And we have the flooring that's somewhat somewhat going in there. And you come back here into our base. Our back door is actually right back here. And then here is the beginnings of our tower. I would move. I don't know if it'll move okay. Man, OBS. Easy there. It may be... I blame it on OBS. It's probably my computer. <laughs> um, and this is our new tower that we are building. And there's our gate right here. We have our wall coming in. This is a stockpile. And we'll eventually get a floor going along the top here. There's a staircase right there. So you can kind of see... Get the idea there. But there you go. Okay. Whoops. All right. Back to the game. And I've seen I've seen some that uh, people have done pictures with uh, using that showing off their forts, and some some people's forts are amazing looking. They build like um, 
just when they build up. And, and some of the terrains, I have kind of a boring terrain because it's not really hilly. Um, some of the terrains, and then you add in the forts that are built out, are really awesome looking. I'll have to I'll put some links maybe into, into some of them. There's a Dwarf Fortress Reddit, and there's usually some pretty cool ones in there. But uh, as for now, we're going to basically just kind of let things run as we've been doing. Are we digging? Did I not dig that first? Oh, I'm going to do down. Uh, down is J. There we go. Okay, so we'll let them dig down and see what we can find. I don't know where they are. But they'll get there eventually. We have baby Jimmy. In, apparently he has his own bedroom. What happened? Stray Ram has been found dead. Balin is now a planter. What were we doing before? Balin. And walls getting worked on. We'll put a door in there as soon as we can. Uh, I may, you know what, I may put a door in and we can have an armory off next to it. We can make this a barracks. Put beds in there. Ideally, we want some sort of a training ground as well for our for our dwarves as they get better. If you have a training training ground, they can get better at uh, at fighting. You can build, um, you know, like we have archery targets that we can make. And now siege engines is something I have never done. I don't know how siege engines works. I think I've I've read something about some of the future plans for this game. Of course, this game's in development for like I don't know, like ten years or something. And some of the future plans he's had is, um, the time for autumn. Oh, it's autumn. Uh, where you can actually mount offensives against other bases, which, which I don't know. I'm not sure how that would work. Something I've been thinking about doing whenever I move on to the next version is starting out my, my world at something like year five. So it's a really young world. Basically, there's not really much history at all to it. And then starting a fort uh, and running, letting that fort run. And then kind of throughout the year, each time I played War Fortress, I'm going to play a few times, I'm sure, um, start a new base on that same world somewhere else in the world. So then as we're playing the game, history will sort of take place in the world. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. That didn't word that well. Um... So as I build, as you build your base, so for instance, we're in year three right now. History is happening in the world that we're in right now. I don't really know the world real, real well because I didn't really look a lot over it very much. Um, but if we start like year three, there will be basically no history to the game. And we will kind of witness all the history taking place each time we play. And so our fort could be, say we play a fort and we abandon it and then move on to a different one. Something could happen at our fort. It'll be interesting to see later on in the year how how that evolves over time and and um, kind of see the uh, the world evolve and and forces take take their part. I don't know if that made any sense. I kind of rambled that, <laughs> but you know what I mean. No, you don't. What are you doing with the troglodyte? Oin, what are you doing? Are you feeding the troglodyte? There'll be none of that. I think I saw... Yes. The, the box is done. Do I want this to be a... Armory, yes. Armory. There we go. And... Oh, this could be for both, couldn't it? Just make it a, it's going to be a free room. Whoever wants it can have it. Whoever wants it can take it. Oh, we got to build our our weapon racks and uh, armor things. Let's let the carpenter do that. Um, armor stand. 
and it's not is it not they don't do the weapon rack all right it's craftsdorf that does this out of something no is it not there it is Are you still building blocks, buddy? Blocks. Making me block. Why is this suspended? No, make blocks. No, you should never stop making blocks. Ow. I just ran my head into the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> How's our floor coming? Yeah, it's, it's coming. It's getting there. Let's see if I can do my floor up here. There we go. Now, why can't I do it up here? I have staircase. What am I missing? What am I missing? Upstair. That's what we want. I'll put another one right there. Out of, I don't know, oak. You need an upstair to walk up, and then you can start building alongside it. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing. Did we pick up any seeds yet? No. Why? Hmm. Give me a little stockpile right there. And this is going to have seeds in it. Okay, try that. We, we have plenty of things to be picking up. We should be picking up some seeds while we're out here. While we're gathering our plants, there should be plenty of seeds to be gathering. We should be able to do things like asparagus and uh, strawberries. I mean, all kinds of things. Have things to fertilize with it. We can try fertilizing. Let's see if that'll work. We are making. We have plenty of charcoal. We're making ash still. The ashery are. You should be making lye. That's what you need to be doing. Make me 30 to 40 lie. And you are still not doing what I want you to do. No fat, right? No fat. You can do that. Um, animals. Let's butcher a couple and just see if this is what we want to do. So we'll slaughter a couple chicks. No, 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 no. Chicks slaughter. And we'll see if that gives us the fat we want. Notice, notice the corpse stockpile is empty. That is fantastic. Oh, check out those. Oh, almond wood. I thought that was like gold or something. Those are some nice looking greaves. Our where I guess our where people don't get buried. I don't think our are they completely full? No, they're still open ones. That one's not being built for some reason. Where's one of my tomb is set at? Maybe none of them? Uh, make tomb. I thought I set one of these up earlier. There you go. Uh, this door is not being built either. I mean, there's a lot of little things that just aren't getting done, like this bed. Like, why wouldn't you build the bed? Not sure why. Uh, good news. I it is autumn. 
Which means we will have a dwarven caravan showing up. Which means we can probably buy an anvil. So we'll finally get some sort of a metal industry going. Which is great. Because we do not have any metal. That's something we've, we should have done a long time ago. But we were unable to get it done. I'm looking forward to that day for a long time. Are you guys doing your uh, digging? No. You're busy being wear lizards. Oh, we do have a lot of dimple cups. Wait, 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 wait. We have dimple cups. We have dimple cup seeds? No seeds. Hmm. Alright, well, I lost my timer, but I think, I'm gonna, I think I need to put a cut in this video. I don't know how far away I'm fighting a ram. Alright. So yeah, we're going to put a cut. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.